Hey what's up guys, my name is Suka Fire, and today I'm going to be talking about the 7 day trade hold and if it should be removed or adjusted. So let's just get right into it. So now that it's been well over a year since a 7 day trade hold was implemented in CSGO, I think it's safe to say that we can kinda conclude whether it's good or bad. But first of all, let's get one thing clear. The 7 day trade hold was only implemented to combat frauds and scams, which it's definitely done a good job doing. I feel like a lot of people kinda miss the entire point of it and just think, oh CS doesn't care about the community. They definitely did this to help people out. Not only that, but it's pretty much impossible to keep a third party gambling site going with this trade hold implemented, which is why we saw practically all of them shut down after it was put into CSGO. Now this can be seen as both good and bad. Gambling sites were really open to everyone on CS. Sure they could say you have to be 18 plus, but personally I know many people who were definitely not 18 and could easily get on these sites and lose hundreds of dollars of skins because of how unregulated they were. This was a huge issue in CS, but not only was it easy for kids to get on these sites, but many of them were also scams with rigged odds, and were secretly owned by big YouTubers. So sure, you might have enjoyed gambling in CS, but it was a really unhealthy environment with some really sketchy sites and even sketchier people. Like if you want to gamble, honestly, you have a ton of other options. I'm sure there's other actually reliable sites out there and you could just go to a casino or something, but at least you know that you are not going to be dealing with Phantom Lord or T-Martin that probably don't own that casino. But now let's get on to actual trading. Trading along with gambling was of course a huge part of CSGO and a large portion of the CS community were really upset when this trade ban came into effect. Upset is actually kind of an understatement because in the following months after the trade ban, CSGO lost about 35% of its entire player base. So it's safe to say that people definitely weren't happy and still aren't happy that this 7 day trade hold was implemented. And the thing about actually trading in CSGO is that the 7 day trade hold makes it impossible to trade consistently. Nobody wants to wait between having to trade items, especially big traders out there. And 7 days is just such an inconvenience that there's not nearly as many people that traded today as there was before the update. Like, I think I've done like 9 trades after this update and most of them were just selling my items on OP skins before you know Valve kinda destroyed them but it was their fault, I'm not gonna get into that though. Personally though, I think 7 days is a bit too much to wait but if the devs lower this number or completely remove the trade hold, we have to keep in mind that all of these fishy gambling sites would make a reappearance and the whole cycle would start again. There's not really a proper solution to the whole ordeal and unfortunately I think CSGO trading kinda had to take a big blow to finally get rid of all the gambling sites. So unfortunately there is gonna be a huge negative but there's also an even bigger positive like there isn't millions of dollars being scammed by gambling sites. Also, CSGO Dev stated in the blog post that, quote, we'll continue to evaluate trading policies as time goes on, and if you have any feedback or concerns about the change, you can email us, but I really don't think that they're going to change anything at this point. Of course, you can always email them about like your complaints, but I know plenty of people did this right after the trade hold was implemented, but there was really no response, and I highly doubt they're going to change it. But besides that, if you guys think there is a good evening round to get rid of gambling sites while keeping trading alive, be sure to email them and feel free to leave a comment telling me your thoughts about the whole situation. And of course, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We're getting closer to 5k boys, but besides that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.